Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our Jira Administrator tutorials. We are done with understanding the basic concepts of Jira and configuring the Jira server instance. Now we are slowly getting into the administration concepts. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be exploring more about how exactly you can manage users in terms of creating, deleting or modifying a user account. There are various ways to do that. And of course, we will be also understanding a little bit about what exactly groups are when it comes to the Jira project or instance. So let's get started and understand a little bit about what exactly user management consists of and how we can manage our users and groups within Jira Administrator. In this tutorial, we will be understanding more about user management with help of the Jira Administrator and also understanding how you can create users and actually what are the options which are available for a Jira Administrator to work on the user management. To begin with understanding on what exactly user management is all about, you have to navigate to this cog field which stands for the Jira Administrator and in this we have different options which we understood in our very first tutorial. Now in this tutorial we'll be understanding more about user management so just click on user management here which will take you to the users panel under the Jira Administrator. Don't forget you must be having administrator rights in order to access this option because this is only accessible to administrators. Now, this is one of the menu option in a lot of other options within your Jira Administrator where you basically manage your users within the Jira project. Now, of course, you may have, you are an administrator and you may have a number of user accounts and different projects. A journey of the project begins with creating the project, but with the project comes a lot of users. And of course, the administrators are responsible to create their account. Now that's where on the right side you see a welcome message that you can add new users to Jira. So right now I'm the only person who is involved in this and you can definitely invite users or create users. Now the difference between inviting users and create user is that invite users let the users decide their own user ID and password and so on. But when you talk about create users, we will determine the user ID for them and they can just reset their password. So let's try both of them one after the other. So just click on the invite users this time and you will see a page which will ask you to send an invite. So all you have to configure is the outgoing mail server before you can send invite. So I've not configured any mail server, but you will be just asked to drop the email IDs and you can just uh, send them an invitation link. By using that invitation link, they can actually register themselves and be a part of the Jira project. So you can later assign them to a particular project which they want to work with and then definitely uh, you will be you know, authorizing them permissions and many other things. The next option within the user management is to create user. Now an administrator without waiting for them to do uh, their registration or waiting for them to finally join, they can directly create a user account and assign them to a project. So this assign allows them to create a new user ID. For example, I have alex at the rate xyz.com. Now it's up to your team because uh, we are just using some dummy names and dummy email IDs. So you can also make use of the same thing. So that's one thing. Uh, full name is alex, alex m. And uh, user ID will be defined like alex M and password you can keep it anything generic so that uh, you can remember if in case you have to log in as a user if you do not enter a password one will be generated automatically and send notification email to that person that this person the org user account on the Jira has been created and what kind of access do you want to provide uh, the Jira software so right now I have Jira software only installed on the Jira server you can actually install a lot many other components of Jira within this particular instance so that's the reason uh, it will show you all the checkboxes which are installed on your in instance and you can give access to them right here if you want you can do that later as well you can just disable this or just leave it like that and you can uh, move out let's quickly create one more user and to do that I have to enable this button here and click on create user now this will create Alex as a user and definitely look forward to another one to create further. 
So let me just uh, create another user like James at the rate xyz.com and the full name is James James Bond right okay so the username is going to be James B and the password I'll just keep it as simple and again if you want to send them a notification or this time I don't want to continue creating create user so this is how you can being an administrator create the account and you can definitely look forward to all their users account here once they log in for the first time you can see their login details and every time you can even say the number of count the last login time what kind of groups they are into what kind of application access they have and what kind of directories they will be accessing at any point of time if you wish to uh, change anything about the user you can definitely do that by clicking on the edit option and that will be changed now here you do get a lot of filters on the top which basically allows you to uh, filter multiple users in case you're looking for a particular user account and you want to make any necessary changes probably want them to put into a different group or give them a certain access to the application then these filter options will definitely help you a lot so these filter options will help you to search users among all of your users similarly we do have the option like groups which allows which allows you to put them into multiple groups. Now, of course, groups are uh, people with different roles or probably different uh, designations. And yes, we can make use of them as well. For example, I have a Jira project and uh, this project is accessible by developers, testers, and uh, you know even by the project managers and many other people like architects and all. So probably based on their role, I want to create a group and I want to give them certain access. For example, to the developers, I want to give them rights to create an issue or edit an issue or even update an issue status. And similarly, if I continue further, probably for testers, I want them to create the issues and uh, edit the issues and update the status and all. But at some point of time, like creation of bug is a feature which is specific to or is an issue type which is specific to testers then it becomes difficult for me to assign a specific tester with that rights or permission to create a new bug only now the developer should not have the rights of creating a bug or architect should not have the rights of creating a issue type as bug then these groups will be helpful for me i can anytime create a new group and of course pull out my users to that particular group and assign certain permissions coming up later in our tutorials uh, we will show you that how exactly I can assign certain uh, permissions certain profiles to these group of people so yes specific to their designation or specific to their role in the organization you can always add a user into a particular group to create a group all you can do is just type the name of the group here for example developers and click on add group it's that's just that simple and now once you click on add group it will be just added here similarly if you want you can create another group called as tester and add the group and you can go on creating whatever your needs are for example designers or architects you can just name them and click on add group now this is how you can add group and again of course at any point of time you can import them and you can just click on edit members to add members to that for example developers I click on edit members and I invite uh, those people who are a part of it so just type the username LXM and uh, add selected user now you will see that LXM is added to the group and similarly if I want to invite James B as well and selected user now both of them are uh, my member of this developers group at any point of time if I want to include these groups to certain other groups as well then of course I can just type the name here for example tester then I can just fill up here and they will be a part of both the groups okay I don't have to do it separately you can do that bulk editing group members as well so right here if you want you to remove any kind of users you can just select the user here and click on remove selected user that's that just that simple okay again coming back to the groups you do see a lot of users like you know the count of the people in a particular group like administrator how many are there Jira software users there are total three and in that two are developers at one is tester or something like that okay at any point of time you want to create you can create edit members or even delete a group 
which is, you know, sometimes probably you see that there was a group of people working specifically on a project like support or probably creating the requirements or creating a support code or some kind of UI graphics. And this team no longer exists. So you can anytime just come here and delete that particular group, which might not be required any longer. So yes, you have all the provisions to do that, but be careful. It is just be, you know, just be sure that is that what you're supposed to do and if it is really okay for your organization structure and the you know activities which are being performed within the organization uh, then only do that okay because deletings and editings will affect all your activities throughout multiple projects so please be very cautious because don't forget you are an administrator and you have the back-end control panel with you and you can make any necessary changes well, keeping this simple and light, we will be continuing further on this part in the remaining options in the next tutorial. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.